All right, here we go. We're kicking up video number three. Um, we last left off. All this madness. Um, okay. All of this stuff, right? If you recall, video one, we did one, uh, two, and 15. Video two, we did uh, four, five, three in that order, and this is the third video. I'm thinking we can get through um, six and seven. Let's see. So we did this. Five. Did we do five? We did. Yes. And then six is spanning tree. Okay, so spanning tree. Right? Set up the bridge and root bridge. Oh, you know what? We could probably do six, seven, eight. I bet. Okay. So to look again, um, I think this is maybe a better way to look at it right here we've done these so this is the first few videos that are green those are all done and remember we did 15 we're gonna do I think these three so six seven eight in this video and then we have maybe one two more videos after that okay okay here we go um, spanning tree protocol so CP <clears throat> this is pretty easy actually. I like spanning tree. Uh, I have to attribute uh, Williams for showing a f sweet shortcut for that. So again you can um, type ambiguous terms. So I'm just going to hit spanning VLAN one priority pry build to Now one is not actually what I'm going to do, but I'm just setting this up 16384. So recall 12288 was what we called primary or root. 16384 was basically what we were setting for like secondary, right? It says it right here, secondary and primary. So if you go to the sheet, um, there's an STP column, right? So what we're doing is STP and we want to set up, looks like um, every other, yeah, every other as primary, secondary, primary, secondary, right? So primaries here are going to be one, which is the network bridge, I mean the network, the management network, which is just what we do. Then we get to this list. So the list is going to be 10, not 11, 12, not 14, 20, not 60, 63, not 80, and then 150. So 150 should have ended on F1, which it does. So then the others are not the network, 11, not 12, 14, not 20, but 60, not 63, but 80, not 80, but 152, right? So now we have every single one accounted for with just those two little statements. Um, and that would be the spanning tree. And that's it. That's all you do. So what do you set? You set the 3560s, right? 3560s. Spanning tree. So let's jump into those bad boys. Uh, and then, okay. Now remember, this the one on the left is F1, right? So in fact, I could even do this. This is F1, right? And then when we do F2, they swap. Right? So you have to swap these numbers. Right? Oops. Now, these will be primary on the other side, and these will be secondary on the other side. I didn't have to type anything but those two numbers. This is an awesome, awesome setup. So here's F1. Boom. And it took no errors, no weird carrots. Boom, no spanning trees there. And then again, if we wanted to check it, it should show, oh, how do you check that? I think it should show, yeah, show spanning tree. Just like one would think. Show span. 
Oh, actually, and I, I like it better um, with running config. Show run. If you hit space once, you can see it right here. Right. Show run. Right there. So notice they're opposites, basically, of each other. So that's sweet. We did it. We're set up. So that was um, six. Six is done. Move to seven. Port security. So the keyword here. <coughs> is turn port security on for all accesses with the exception of trunks right so turn it all on everywhere basically so recall we looked over here on the 2960s the only two things are the trunks are 10 and 11. so and now i'm thinking that we're doing port security i'm wondering if i turned off all the right ports or if i skipped over that if i skipped that We'll catch it. So, um, port security 2960s. And then they are going to be the same, right? Because it's the way it's applied is to everything but trunks. So, draw file. You can see that here, right? What? One through nine. Oh. Zero is the chassis number, one through nine. And we're gonna go switch port mode access. We're turning them off or not into trunk. Turning on port security. Um, we're saying that when it occurs, when a violation occurs, what to do, we want it to shut down. Um, we're telling it that we're allowing a maximum Two, two MAC addresses total. Um, and then lastly, we tell it how to how to sort of remember these. We do the sticky method. And that's it, right? So we have one, two, three, four, basically five statements under this, right? One, two, three, four, five statements. They look like they're basically correct. It's one through nine, right? So now we need the rest. Um, 12 through 24, and then technically the gig. Oh, which I don't need to do this. What am I doing that for? Let's do it this way. Um, 1 through 9, 10 is a trunk, 11 is a trunk, 12 through 24, which is the rest of the fast ports, and then we do the gig ports, 1 through 2, like that. That will turn it on for everything. Again, it's on the 2960s. Um, this. Okay. Whoa. Taste. And it looks like I didn't make any boo boos as far as syntax goes. So those took. We are golden. Okay, so there's that. So that, I think, is all port security. So we did on the 2960s, all this stuff. This is normally where you would trip it and set it and then clear it, you know, view it and things like that. But I don't think we need to do any of that. So we are good. So, so switch virtual interface. So right now, um, I think might be a good time to double check to see if I actually caught the shutdown. I thought it was in three. This this is we're going ad hoc, man. Um, I thought I don't remember where it was exactly. We do the trunks. Oh, right here, shut down. So we I probably skipped this in the last trunking video, right? Because um, I don't think we did any shutdown here. Okay, so let's just catch it right now. Since I remembered it and we caught it, we're going to get it right now. So, shutdown um, non-used ports. Um, this is a security thing. Um, we should totally do it. Anything that's not used, shut it down. And you have to be careful with that because you, won't, you literally only want to shut down the used ones. So, and that's on everything. It says all devices, right? 
Um, remember to shut down your gigabits. Da 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 da. Okay, so on the um, 3560s, they're going to be the same. The 2960s will not be. So 3560s, we use all the lines shown in this drawing, right? So 3, 2, 1, 11, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go in draw file. Okay. Um, 1 is used, 2 is used, 3 is used, 4 through uh, 10. Uh, 11 is used, 12 through 23, because 24 is used. And then the gigs, right? Oh, this is an FA. And then the gigs. Right? And then all we do is shut it down. So we're turning those off. Now, F1. And then we've got... So it's going to be the same thing. Hit the raw file. And then we got to decide what's used or not on the... 2960, this one, 4 1. So, um, is 1? Yes, it is. Look, 1 through 8 are used. Okay, is 9? Nine? 9 is not. Is 10? Yes. Is 11? Yes. Is 12? 12 through 18 is. 19 is. 20 through 24 is. So then, technically, it's just the back to the gig. Let's double check that, right? So 1 through 8, 9, I don't see anywhere, 10, yes, 11, yes, 12 through 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, yep, I think that's right. And then we're going to shut down. Here, we're going to do, um, I was just thinking, I was sidebar thinking it, it'd be easier to do this a different way, but this is fine. Um, so 1 through 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 through 20, 21, 22, uh, looks like 23 and 24. And then the gig. go. So this guy drop that. Whoa. Let's say I made a boo-boo. Drop this one. And again you have to drop them at the config prompt. And this one. Whoa. So I think that all took, right? Mm, yeah, no issues. Everything's down. So I think we caught the shutdown that I might have missed on the previous. So there's that. And the reason I thought about shutdown, right, is because we're doing port security. Really, that's part of port security, I think. I, I would I would have put it in port security, personally, but whatever. OK, so we did spanning tree. We did the port security, and I think I might cut it here because SVI involves all these IPs, um, and so does the next piece, HSRP, and if I get into IPs, I kind of want to just burn through IPs. So we're going to cut it here. So next video we're going to do starts at SVI's or exercise 8.